The death toll from the devastating Maui wildfires has now surpassed 100. So far, searchers with dogs have combed through about a third of the scorched rubble of historic, the historic Lahaina town. At least 1,300 people are still unaccounted for. Carly Purdom, a research assistant professor for the Hazard Reduction and Recovery Center at Texas A&M, joins us now. And Carly, thank you so much for joining us today. Sure, of course. Okay, so we've been seeing the devastation uh, in Lahaina, everything that they're going through right now. Can you tell me, how does a community start to, to, to recover from something like that? How long can that recovery take? So we've seen recovery processes take um, a, a lot longer than communities are typically prepared for. So, um, for example, we still we had wildfires here in 2011 that were very devastating, and it took many, many years for um, those communities to get back to a sense of normalcy, for homes to be repaired, and then the communities, um, you know, they're never quite uh, the same after some folks don't move back. So we really don't know how long recovery is going to take, especially this early in the process. It's people are still going to be in a state of shock, still not able to return to where their homes are exactly. And so um, we, we won't know for um, a long time how, how significant the recovery efforts are, are going to be. Let's talk a little bit about um, some of the things that homeowners, property owners can do, some of the things that we can do if we uh, find ourselves in a situation where we do need to evacuate. Absolutely. So what are some things that we can do to be prepared mm -hmm. um, to get ready to to leave if we have to. Right, so a lot of the things, uh, most of the things that you would do to prepare to evacuate for a wildfire are gonna be the same as you would uh, to evacuate for a hurricane. With hurricanes, we have um, more early warning systems. So um, that is a little bit of a difference when it comes to wildfires, Think the situation can change quickly. Um, but in terms of you know preparing to be able to leave, we think of the five Ps, which are people and pets, prescriptions, um, papers, personal items, and precious items. I'm proud of myself for remembering <laughs> that. Um, but there's a lot of resources online to be able to remember. But that just means um, if you are going to take your pets with you, which most people will, uh, be prepared to have their food, their medication, anything that they would need to come with you. You would also need any uh, prescriptions, anything that you need to take care of your own uh, health and safety. Is it, you know, um, batteries uh, for your any medical devices that you have prescriptions you need to be prepared to not be able to go home for anywhere between three to seven days uh, you don't have to necessarily have all of your important documents with you like insurance papers but you definitely want to have those backed up somewhere electronically or on an external hard drive uh, personal items you want to pack clothing anything that you would need to be away from your home and then of course precious items are there things from your home that you are able to take with you you don't want to you know be slowed down or encumbered by large heavy items difficult to transport or to take say to a shelter but you know be thinking about if I had to um, leave home and possibly if my home were to be destroyed what are some things that you would want to take with you and protect um, we are at a, an elevated fire risk in Texas, especially Central and East Texas at this time. A lot of fires popping up. Um, the Texas a and Forest Service is an excellent resource to look at what is the risk in your area, how can you prepare um, individually, but also how can you be preparing your home and property. You wanna make sure that um, First responders are able to get to your home, mm -hmm. so um, anything blocking, uh, you know, entrances to your home or property. Want to make sure that your um, numbers and identifying um, markers for your home are clear and visible. And um, you want to also be able to plan for those evacuation routes. Say in your community, um, what are two possible ways that you could leave quickly? Uh, you don't want to be just dependent on one route in case a wildfire were to block that off. Again, mm -hmm. wildfires change the situation can change very quickly. Um, I would say follow your local emergency manager or local um, fire department on social media. They're very active on mm. Facebook, online, and they can be a great source of information about what's happening in your community, what shelters may be opening, and that can be a great uh, way to make decisions that are informed and prepared. Excellent. That's great information. Carly Purdom, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.